Hello students, in this video, we'll talk about the sodium reabsorption in the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle. The thick ascending limb of loop of Henle is involved in the reabsorption of uh, about 20 to 25% of the filtered uh, solutes, including sodium chloride and other cations. The sodium reabsorption in the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle is by a sodium potassium 2 chloride synporter, which is mediated by the active transport mechanism. And the transport mechanism is called as the secondary active transport. The key element involved is the sodium potassium ATPS, which is located on the basolateral membrane, which extrudes sodium and leads to low intracellular sodium concentration. Due to the low so intracellular sodium concentration, a chemical gradient is created which favors the movement of sodium from the lumen into the cell. The movement of sodium across the apical membrane is mediated by the sodium potassium 2 chloride transporter which reabsorbs the three solutes sodium, potassium and 2 chloride. Now some of the potassium which has entered the cell leaks back across the apical membrane into the tubular lumen through the potassium channels. And this generates a lumen positive transepithelial potential difference of about plus 6 to plus 10 millivolts. The sodium which has entered the cell moves across the basolateral membrane by the action of sodium potassium ATPS. Potassium will also move into the interstitium through the potassium channels. Chloride which has entered the cell moves uh, into the interstitium through the chloride channels which are present on the basolateral membrane. Some of the sodium moves paracellularly due to the lumen positive potential caused by the potassium leak into the lumen. This uh, limb of the loop of Henle is impermeable to water. Few drugs can block the luminal sodium potassium 2 chloride co transporter. So, the, when the drugs block the transporter, the, these solutes are not reabsorbed. The unreabsorbed solutes will be excreted and they take along with them water, and this will cause diuresis. Now, these drugs cause diuresis and act on the transporter protein present in the loop of Henle, so they are called as loop diuretics. To summarize, the solutes are reabsorbed but not water, and this results in increased medullary interstitial osmolality. And this is the driving force for the countercurrent multiplier system. At the same time, the osmolality in the tubular fluid is decreased. And uh, the, so the fluid which is leaving the loop of Henle to enter the distal tubule is hypoosmotic when compared to that of the plasma. Now, thick ascending limb is impermeable to water. So it is called as the diluting segment of the nephron. The sodium potassium 2 chloride symporter is the target for inhibition by loop diuretics. Barter syndrome is a condition which is caused by mutations in the gene for any of the key proteins present in the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle. And the key proteins are the sodium potassium 2 chloride co transporter and potassium channel and the chloride channel. So there is defective transport in the thick ascending limb of loop of Henle and this causes increase in the sodium loss in the urine and also causes polyuria. And uh, thank you very much for um, watching and uh, do subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more videos.